For years, my clients have asked me, how do I get the perfect manicure? So I created this simple five-step perfect manicure. What I've tried to do is create a system that is really similar to what you use already on your skincare so that you can relate it to your nails. And of course, all these tips work for your toes as well. First, you're going to cleanse the nail. When you're removing your polish, you don't need to rub. You saturate your cotton with a stripper, my nail lacquer remover that is infused with lavender and aloe. You press it on the nail, count to five, pull it forward. You will find nine times out of 10, all of the polish is gone. Before you move on to other steps, you really want to shape your nail. It's best to shape your nail so that it mirrors the shape of your cuticle. Then your finger is going to be elongated. You want to be very careful when you're filing the sides. You just need to make sure that they're not rough. Never take your file and go back and forth. This can cause peeling and breakage in the long run. You need to remember that your hands look different from different vantage points. You want the nail to look great from every angle. It feels incredible to have a super smooth nail. You're getting that dead nail off. You're smoothing ridges if you happen to have them, and it gives you a fantastic foundation. Your smooth operator buffer is a four-way buffer. It has four different fabrics on it. They're all very, very gentle. You cannot damage your nail with this buffer, which is one of the things that's special about it. So once a week, you very, very lightly just dust the whole entire nail with each fabric, number one, two, three, and four, and your nails end up very, very smooth and super, super shiny. I'm really passionate about how you should approach the cuticle. Same thing we need to do on our face is you need to remove that dead skin. You need to use a cuticle remover that's gonna soften the dead skin that's there. You then take your pusher, you push the cuticle back toward the knuckle so you get a perfect, even shape. If you have a piece of skin that's still hanging after you've really properly pushed it, you can take your cuticle nipper and you can just nip that little tiny piece of skin. You never want to nip all the way around. The next step, after you've really pushed it back and nipped it, you want to hydrate with cuticle oil. My cuticle oil is jojoba and vitamin E. You barely dot it on the cuticle at the base of the nail. Really massage it into that cuticle. Your cuticle will be healing. We know how healing jojoba is for us. Hydrate regularly, and after a few weeks, you can come back from an overly cut cuticle to having perfectly groomed cuticles. You're going to follow with Rich Girl, which is a hand and cuticle cream. When you're applying your hand cream, Always take the time to massage it into your cuticle. You need to really take an extra minute because this is actually stimulating the matrix of the nail where the nail is formed. You'll find you have longer, healthier nails. First thing I want to say about the finish is if you don't do the first part of the manicure, the finish doesn't really have the wow. Take this wonderful product that we have that's called the Two Second Nail Primer. You just drop it or brush it on your nail, and it's going to cleanse any oil that was on the nail away. Base coat is key. If you skip base coat, your nail won't be protected, your polish will not stay on as long, and it definitely will not wear as well. Take your time when you're polishing your nails. You're going to place the brush about an eighth of an inch away from the cuticle. As soon as you see that polish flow, you pull the brush straight down the center to the tip. Your nails get a bit wider at the side, so all you need to do is put a little bit more pressure and let the bristles fan out. And then you want to finish by capping the nail, and this is super, super important for the wear of the nail. You want to just take the very tip of your brush, swipe it across the very tip of your nail, and that is going to keep your polish on days longer. We have several options for finishing your manicure. Addicted to Speed is my personal go-to when I'm working on the runway, when I'm working on fashion shoots, because it will dry in a flash. It's a super, super, like a diamond shine finish. I think nails are the new accessory because it's an affordable luxury. This is time that you are spending on you. You deserve it. It's going to make you feel better. And when you change your nail polish, you change your mood. Who do you want to be today?